One of you guys commented this on my video that was about how much money can I make in 24 hours on my main account. And I did mostly PVMing, bossing, God Wars 2 and all that good stuff, AFKs on Rarius. And I made 131 million in 24 hours, which is 5.5 million roughly every single hour. But if I can make you claim triple that through easy clue scrolls, which doesn't even seem to be very unreasonable with the lucky components being pretty common from them, as well as the god pages. I want to try out 10 hours of easy clues and how I'm going to get them is through pickpocketing ham members with 99 thieving or even 101, not that it matters. But I want to see if I can actually make more than 5.5 million an hour just doing easy clue scrolls. So I'm going to start off by pickpocketing probably 25 easy clue scrolls because I'm very sure I can do that in 10 hours at least and that is the cap on easy clue scrolls I have currently. So let's do 25 ECs and see how, f how long first off it takes to pickpocket all of them. It's actually so nice that you don't have to drop anything. You can just do this all the time and the clue scrolls just stack in your inventory. Even if you have a full bag, they just stack. So I can just do this until I have 25 of them. Wait, actually, really? I got the thieving pet pickpocketing ham members 20 minutes-ish into the video. That's, uh, I don't even know what to say. So actually, straight after that, I decided to pause the timer because I realized that there is a mini quest you have to complete to be able to actually get clue scrolls if you have a full inventory, and it's a very easy one. If you complete this quest, the Lost Her Marbles, you actually just can spam click it, but otherwise you have to drop the items all the time to be able to obtain easy clue scrolls. Not sure why it works that way, but um, just doing it right now and pause the timer because of it. Easy enough, let's go back to the ham hideout and start the timer again. And that is the 25 easies obtained after 44 minutes, and I probably lost around 8 to 10 minutes because of not knowing about the quest, but now I have all these anyways, and I was decently lucky to be honest, because the average seems to be an hour for 25. I thought it might be worth to mention that I do actually have all the different hidey holes set up already for the easy clues just to make it faster, so I don't have to worry about the costumes at all. Probably on the last step here on the last clue scroll of those 25 and it took a bit longer than one hour. I started at 46 minutes roughly and it is now at one hour and soon 52 minutes. So I can probably shave that down to like an hour maybe for the 25 clues because I was kind of unfamiliar with some of the steps and uh, now I am very familiar with all of them. So that is back to the ham camp now. I'm going to bank these and let's get 25 more clue scrolls. So almost 5 hours in and I have a total of 63 caskets, so that means I should end at around 120 caskets. Getting a bit closer to the end and this is I think casket number 100, let's actually teleport to the bank and see how many we have. But I got more caskets than I actually anticipated, I thought before making this video that it would be like 80 or something, but uh, yeah, 7 hours and 15 minutes in and already 100 caskets to open. With roughly 3 minutes left, I will be completing the last clue scroll for the video, and that is 5 more. And if I go to the bank, I think that is 145 easy clues in total. The reason why I'm stopping here is because, or actually 140 it is. So 140 easy clue scrolls we are going to open in just a bit, but the reason why I'm stopping a bit before 10 minutes is because there is no way I will be able to go to the ham camp in 3 minutes, get one more easy clue scroll and even complete that within the 10 hour limit. So I'm going to stop right here, but it is close enough to 10 hours. So if I do manage to get a total of 55 million or more, then I made the same or more money than my 24 hour PVMing video per hour. So in that video I ended up getting 5.5 million an hour. So if this is in 10 hours, 55 million or higher, then this is actually more profitable. So let's start off and of course I'm going to use the rerolls on the caskets where I do not get anything above 1 million because 1 million is like the minimum that you get for getting any fortunate components and the pages that you get are really valuable as well. The Armadol page 1 I believe, you can get 3 of them in one clue and they are 2 million each. So you can get a 6 million clue just from one single opening. But anyways, let's get started with the first one, 7k. I had one reroll already, so 54k for the first one. Second one, 131k. I guess the meerkat poachers are actually worth quite a bit. 
can't really check, but uh, I'm actually going to read all this one as well now that I already can. And we get 33k, so nothing too special. A trimmed item, but not a fortunate component. A reroll token easy. Can I use that right away? I can, so we get another reroll. Okay, I didn't actually uh, use it. 1.3 million. First fortunate component, the black crossbow, which is very interesting that that's actually a fortunate component, but uh, I guess it's because you get them only from easy clue scrolls and uh, no other way. Guess I got double reroll for that. Another reroll. We got a lot of rerolls actually. That's interesting, but uh, not that many fortunate components so far. And biscuits, nothing too great. Reroll that, 4k, 3k, 1.1 million. Very nice, we said had G. Master clue skull, not going to do that for this video. 7k, should get so many rerolls. But uh, another 1 million, so a highwayman mask. Black bolts, not sure how much they are going to be worth. 11k, reroll that one. And 2k, that's even worse, unfortunate. 6k staves i'm going to bank real quick so i don't think i actually have to bank because they will just get sent to my bank anyways and all the fortunate components is like all the money so uh 1.1 million on the next one i'm not going to uh, reroll that i could have rerolled that one i just clicked too fast i'm not caring too much about the bonus experience there 55k or 54k 1k 1 million again another comp bow very nice no fortunate component, 200k, it's a pretty good reward, but it's just the meerkat poachers. I guess I'll, I'll keep that one. Uh, if it's a decent amount of money like that, then maybe I'll keep it. Also, I was considering opening these on Entrana, by the way, if you're thinking about why I'm not doing that. But uh, I thought that the amount of items that you can actually get in terms of fortunate components are... A lot of them, like almost all the items that are worth a lot of money, like the comp bows for example that are all over 1 million each, they are all not obtainable on Entrana and I feel like it would be losing out on a lot of money if I would go there and um, I would not get that many pages maybe so then I would get like no money at all from doing this which would be very awkward actually. But uh, getting some fortunate stuff now, which is pretty nice. Another comp bow. I feel like a lot of the money is going to come from comp bows. Uh, but we've actually got no pages yet, which is very interesting. I thought the pages would be, like, actually pretty common, but it uh, seems like it isn't. That's a good reroll, a 1 million reroll. Another reroll token. Do I get... I have to go to the bank and actually get those out. I guess I can... Uh, Whoops, that's not the thing. There we go. So I can actually uh, claim these rerolls because I definitely want to use them. Meanwhile, opening all these caskets for that one example. 4k yeah, and uh, 3k. Yep, yeah, let's reroll that real quick. 203.2k. Very unfortunate. Uh, it's going to get, be a lot of money in the meerkat poachers. It's very interesting to see actually. 43k. 1 million. I, for some reason, I actually thought that you would get 1 million rewards way more often because of all the... Uh, pages and there being so many fortunate components. Oh double fortunate components. This is the best one so far This is what you'd like to see 2.3 million from one easy clue scroll 36k another 1 million. I Feel like I'm making a good amount of money, but I'm not sure if this is like 5.5 million hour money It's going to be very interesting to see the price check in the end. Maybe it is actually 1.2 million 15k there we go some pages first pages 176k probably some of the really bad pages compared to what other pages can be worth i would love to see a really good page clue gotta get uh, that reroll out again let's just take it out like this so yeah as i said you can get armadol page one and those are like two million each which is insane money so just one of those would be instant money you know like insane spike in money for the value of the clue scrolls but uh yeah no Oh, double again, double fortunate components, but none of the big pages yet. Another fortunate components, stacking up on those rerolls. Okay, now I'm being really lucky, like 1 million rewards back to back to back. That's really nice. 6k, I just rerolled 100k to 6k, that is really feels bad. 14k, 275 GP. That, yeah, <laughs> the reroll is pretty good though, I'm not going to complain about that, but that was basically like one fire talisman in the entire clue skull in terms of money, but um, 75 left, so got a bit more than uh, 
half of the caskets left. So uh, 1 million, that's a black crossbow, no offhand or anything like that. Some more pages, Gothix pages 3, 400k. I think the Gothix book is alright, but uh, yeah, of course not as good as the Armadil. And I think the Saradomin one is also really, really good. Some bad ones here, 34k, reroll that into 18k. 100k, 3k, 15k, not really getting that many fortunate components now. 109k, meerkat poachers, they, they seem really good. They seem really, really good. Amulet of Magic T, that is a fortunate component. And another page, Bandos page 2, I'm going to keep that, so I don't want to use a reroll on a 200k. Ooh, it's very interesting. Two more fortunate components. Uh, and uh, a, a master clue scroll. 26k. Unfortunate that these items are not fortunate components. Not sure why they are not. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean all the age items are, but why do they not make the T and the G items? I have no idea. But uh, another reroll token. Should probably get that out of the bank. And there we go. That's the reroll token. You know, you never know. You know, you could reroll like a 2k into a mill. Let's see if we do it now. 2.4 million, just like I said. I almost rerolled that because I wasn't thinking straight. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Good thing I saved it. And 200k in the meerkat pouches. Bandos page 4. Decent value, I guess. Spiked helm. Imagine. It's so weird. Like, if you would get this on old school, it would be like 2k. And it's 1.1 million on RS3. Which is actually so nice, like it's so nice that they made all these items have a value because then it's so rewarding to do these clue scrolls and opening the caskets is so nice because you always see that good value for the time you spent. 1 million, 1 million again, 50k, this is a reroll I think, it's on the edge of not rerolling but uh, I mean 50k to 1.1 million, pretty good reroll, not going to lie. 1 million, 1.1 million and only 45 caskets left. I really want to see a Saradomin page or Armadillo page before we end. This is a really good one because it's a fortunate component and a page, but it is a, it's a Gothics page, so it's not that valuable. Continue 1.1 1, 1 million, 87k. Let's reroll that one into 3k, so we lost some money there. 154k, more ancient pages, not that valuable. 6k, confirm, 20k. 14k, 9k, and I reroll though, so we get some more chances on getting some fortunate components. Uh, yes, 37 left, 10k. Ooh, okay, I guess. Can I take only that one out? Oh, okay, I have to bank, that is <laughs> really unfortunate. Let's uh, take that out and redeem it. Yes, and keep going. 14k. Continue, 20k, come on, give me fortunate components, 10k, give me a Saradomin page, I really want to see a Saradomin page, or Armadillo page, they are equally good. 1 million, 4k, 1 million, other, another master clue, it's actually going to be pretty interesting, I think we've got 3 masters so far, but I haven't really done any masters uh, on this game at all, I think, 1.2 million, I think I've done 1 master in this entire time, and... Uh, I don't think I got like anything good at all, but I think they can be like pretty valuable on average because I've seen the drop rates on some, I some items that are actually really, really valuable. So it could be cool to uh, make a video on uh, Master Cruise now that I'm getting some in the future. 2 million, very good. 10 mil, that's a reroll into Sardomin Page. Ah, oh, 6k, could have been. Getting really close to the end here, 24 more caskets, 1 million, 293k, Gothic's Page again. 200k, 7k, getting so many rerolls. It feels like you can reroll like every, almost every second one because of all the tokens that you get instead of every third. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, 61k, 1.2 million. That is not a reroll for sure. 20k, that is a reroll. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering, in case they changed it since. Uh, oh, new pages. Samurai page 3. How much are they worth? I guess they're like 300k each because this is 1 million. So those are pretty good pages. But what I was going to say is that biscuits cap out at 200. So if you have 200 of them, you can't get any more of them. So uh, I don't know. I don't think I'll get 200 of them in this opening. But uh, for future openings, that slot is probably going to be switched to something else if I get 200 of them uh, in the bank. 
So 7k, 7k, 4th master, 13 left, 16k, um, I'm just going to reroll that, I don't care too much about the reroll now. 20k, 24k, 5k, 10 more, 1.2 million, let's get some good ones in the end here. 8k to 161k, that's a gain right there. Okay, want to get that token out in the end here, so I get as many rerolls as possible. Redeem it. And the 7 last, 26k, reroll that into 20k, rerolling it again, to 1.1 million, perfect. 7.9k, 5th master, that's 5 masters, 79k, 1.2 million, 10k, rerolled into 200k. I, I, I feel like I'm going to get like 5 million in just meerkat pouches at this point, which is kind of funny. <laughs> And the last one is 1.1 million. So a good last one. But I'm going to organize all the loot in the bank. And uh, I'll be back with the very interesting price check. So I cleaned everything up. And I sold all the very low valued items. And I got 1.5 million in just money. And here we have all the more valuable items. The biscuits of course being untradeable. Same as the master crew scrolls. But uh, that's how many I got. We have all the pages up at the top and we have the meerkat pouches which are actually worth quite a bit. I'm going to have a look at how much those are worth in just a second. But these are all the fortunate components items that I got. And I do have a feeling that we have a good chance to beat out the 55 million if I sell all of these items. So they went for 2 million just in meerkat pouches. So now let's sell everything else. Now this is going to be very close, but I actually think we did make more money doing easy clue scrolls because these are selling for a bit more than 1 mil each. And yeah, we're going to pass the 55 million mark, but not by much. So it wasn't much better, but uh, for easy clue scrolls it is pretty incredible that you can make more money per hour doing easy clue scrolls because of fortunate components than I did doing... God Wars 2 and being pretty lucky at that, uh, which is high tier content compared to easy clue scrolls which you can actually complete within like the first day of playing the game. So uh, let's actually withdraw all the money and see how much we made in total. 65 million but the exact amount is 65.6 mil, meaning this was 1 mil an hour more than my PVMing video, which is very interesting. It wasn't quite three times the money. Maybe it would have been if I got really lucky with Armadol pages, but with my luck, it wasn't quite three times more money, as I said in the beginning of the video with the comments, but it definitely was more money, which is very interesting. But uh, this is going to be the end of the, the video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. I definitely did enjoy doing these easy cruise scrolls, and if you want to see more of my content, Make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video if you liked it. Also, I do have a Discord if you want to join that. Link to that is always at the top of the description. And now, this account has, uh, by two videos, went from 0GP to 205 million.